Welcome to CFO Conversations. I'm Paula Kensington, and today I'm talking with Sue Rosen about personal branding. Personal branding, I think, is a real buzzword and has been for a little while now. Um, I think it's something that we all need to be very aware of, but certainly those that are in corporate life. I think people that are in running their own businesses tend to get a little bit more aware of, of the need for personal branding than those people that are running corporate roles. But I think um, it's very important in today's world, and I've constructed a little model that, um, that sort of goes between the stages of your personal branding and, and how the world sees you, or how the external world sees you. And I think it goes from being invisible through to being in hiding, through to emerging, and then through to being actually in demand. And I think for me, um, back in 2013, I won CFO of the Year, and I really wanted, to, really sort of started to think about how the outside world saw me. Um, and I think that winning the award was fantastic, obviously, and I was very happy to receive that. And that third party recognition is really important. And it starts you thinking about what next and how am I going to influence and, and how am I going to be more strategic in my success? So I think, um, you know, it was really starting to, started the ball rolling for me about where I was on that chart between being invisible, and I probably was, um, before winning the award, certainly nobody outside of my business knew who I was um, and I think then you start going through those stages about becoming more of an emerging uh, leader, an emerging CFO. Uh, if we think about a nice little seedling that's cutting through the soil, it's about starting to wake up to yourself and I think that's really important from a personal branding strategy. Sue, so what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. I think too many of us in corporate life in particular, finance can be a very, very busy function and we get completely engrossed in being head down, bum up, and the doing, the day-to-day -day doing, and we forget, until we come to the position where we want to look for a new role, we forget that in order to get that next role, whether it's within the organisation or elsewhere, people want to know who we are and what we stand for and what we bring to a role. So a lot of the work for me that I do with people is very much about working from the inside out to help them build their authentic leadership presence. Mm. And I think also we were discussing earlier around um, people's LinkedIn profile. So that's mainly the first sort of filter between the inside and the outside world. You know, and, and a lot of people have said to it, both of us, well, if I start updating my LinkedIn profile, it looks like I'm looking for a new job. Well, make it a part of your annual strategy to actually make sure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date all the time. Um, with your record of achievements or what your values are and even a new picture so it actually looks you know like you um, and if someone's reading it it sounds like you um, and I think in the next five years or, or maybe longer that you know the whole resume piece is is dead mm -hmm. because it's about bringing to life who you are so you know Absolutely. people can see what you're saying on social media people can see who you are what you stand for Absolutely, Paula, and I don't think anybody hires anyone anymore without checking out their LinkedIn profile. Mm, absolutely. Um, you know, when we set up meetings with different people in, in different roles, whether I'm working as a coach or doing some CFO consulting, we check people out on LinkedIn before we meet them. So I think that's really important, and as you say, if, when people take that view that I only do that when I'm looking for a job, well, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that it becomes that's, you know, how you present yourself. If you can present yourself all the time in that way, you also might find new opportunities that you haven't expected. Yeah, exactly. From somebody reaching out to you to have a conversation about a new opportunity. Yeah, I think so. Um, and some tips about how to perhaps think about your LinkedIn profile. Back in 2013, when I started really seriously thinking about my personal brand, I actually was doing a SWOT analysis on myself. So what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are my opportunities? What are my threats? You know, and we all do this in our jobs as finance leaders. Uh, but we don't consider ourselves in the same way. So I think it's really important to think about that um, and to think about where your weaknesses and your opportunities are to actually then you know, start thinking about a strategy. And I know we'll talk about it in, in a further episode about thinking more strategically about how you might close those gaps. So definitely want to work on your social media profile and think about how the world sees you. It's important. Mm, absolutely. Okay, thanks Sue.